Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the brand new Foundations metagame. After tinkering with a few different shells, I finally settled on my preferred Omniscience build, since of course we're gonna try out Omniscience now that it's back in standard. This 10 mana enchantment says we can cast spells from our hand without paying their mana costs. So once we get an Omniscience on the battlefield, it usually doesn't take a genius to figure out a way to win the game. And this deck is capable of cheating Omniscience into play with two different methods. On the one hand, we can just have have Omniscience in the graveyard, and then for 5 mana cast an Invasion of Tolvada, returning target non-battle permanent card from our graveyard to the battlefield, or we can potentially discard Omniscience and in the very same turn cast a Reenact a Crime for 4 mana, exiling target a non-land card in our graveyard that was put there from anywhere this turn, copy it and we can cast the copy for free, which also gets the job done. Now once we have Omniscience in play we still need to eventually figure out a way to win, since if we're empty-handed for instance Omniscience doesn't do anything for us, but we have pretty frequent access to Atraxa and Grand Unifier, especially in this deck where we've got a lot of different card types, so we typically get to see quite a few extra cards, and then our eventual win condition could be against aggro to just attack with Atraxa, but we can also win with Jace the very same turn we land on Omniscience by milling the opponent for 15 with a minus X ability, and then a between Reenact the Crime bringing back Jace and Invasion of Tolvana bringing back Jace once again, we can often replay Jace several times, and it only takes three or four of them to eventually mill the opponent out. And in the meantime, we can also use Unauthorized Exit on our own Atraxa to pick it back up, replay it, find more cards. So this is both early interaction, as well as a way to dig a bit deeper with the Surveil. And once we're ready to combo, can also pick up Atraxa to see more cards. So that's quite flexible. And then at one mana, we've got a bit more creature interaction or interaction for non-creature permanence with Into the Flood Maw. Could technically also play Unsummon now that it's back in standard, which has the advantage that it can also bounce our own Atraxa. So we could once again bounce it if we just need to draw more cards. But the flexibility of Into the Flood Maw also hitting non-creature permanence can also be worth it. So it can potentially experiment with a 2-2 two two split as well. And then, of course, we do need some discard outlets to get Omniscience and Atraxa in the graveyard if we're trying to set up Invasion and reenact a crime. And to that end, we have four copies of Collector's Vault. It costs two mana to tap and draw a card and discard, but also makes a treasure token, so that kind of pays for the activation in a way. So with two treasures, we can still potentially combo off with reenact a crime. And then there's the Great Door, which can activate for free, so that's a little bit easier to maybe set up or reenact a crime, so we don't need any additional mana. And occasionally we can also pay 4 mana to transform the Great Door, which can then make enough mana to hard cast Omniscience as well. And then Jace has a few uses, besides being a win condition, can also shrink down opposing creatures to buy ourselves more time, or we can potentially mill ourselves if we maybe played it on the previous turn, then now we can mill ourselves, setting up a reenact a crime to maybe get back our Atraxa or Omniscience, so there's quite a bit of flexibility there. And then a mana base is actually quite beautiful. We get to play with eight of the Surveil lands with Undercity Sewers and Meticulous Archive, which we're pretty happy to play tapped in early turns since we usually don't have much going on. So we can maybe set up our next couple draw steps, can also fill the graveyard for us. And then we get to play with eight of the Verge lands, Flood Farm Verge and Gloom Lake Verge, which help us splash the Invasion of Tolvana. Otherwise, every other land besides the one of Caves of Koilos produces blue mana, so we can cast a Reenact a Crime on turn 4, and then uh, thanks to the uh, Surveil Lands also having the Island type, the Verge Lands will pretty consistently produce both colors, and then 7 Islands to round it out. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, we've got most of the pieces we need, just missing a way to bring Omniscience back out of the graveyard, but I'll give it a try. Put in blue-red. So turn to Collector's Vaults, and then we can see if we want to activate or still play the Great Door on three. Opponent with an Artist's Talent. Can be bounced by into the Flood Maw, but for now, happy enough playing the Vault. Not sure if our opponents could be playing with counter spells. We can eventually technically hard cast Omniscience as well, so that's always part of our plan. But uh, yeah, I'll try the Great Door. That resolved pretty swiftly. 
a little bit overextended into a Brotherhood's End, destroying all artifacts. So there was a reason to maybe hold something back. But I'm just leveling up the talents, that's fine. End of turn, we'll draw. And don't need a third looting effect. Okay, so I may as well activate the Great Door, since if I draw into Reenact the Crime, I could already combo off. I think I'm still fine discarding one Omniscience here, since we have another one for Reenact the Crime, and then we have one in the graveyard already for our battle. But now the jig is up, opponent knows what we're trying to do. I'm just gonna activate Vault. If we get Artist Talent to level 3, I could certainly consider bouncing it with Into the Flood Maw. For now, I don't think I want to keep both copies, but I do want land 5. Take our turn. Activate Great Door. Another Atraxa. We're getting somewhat close to just uh, casting those as well. So I can activate Vaults, and once again, if we draw into Reenact the Crime, I could technically still combo off here. And it's gonna be a Sewers. So at this point, maybe one Atraxa can go and keep both lands to hardcast Atraxa next turn. Or I could just ditch into the Flood Maw anyways. But it is my only interaction. Could also get rid of a land, honestly, since we're getting a second treasure, so this would be enough to cast Atraxa next turn. And then Archive I don't need. Okay. Could have also tried playing a Jace in the meantime. But Jace is a lot better if we have Reenact a Crime in hand, so we can potentially mill something expensive and then basically reanimate it for free. Opponent on a niv Mizzet Visionary deck, so they might have an infinite combo of their own. So happy we still have a Bounce spell to maybe interfere with their combo. Opponent getting to dig pretty deep now. But yeah, next turn I could try and cast Atraxa. And then we'll likely find another land to keep up into the Flood Maw. So opponent's got 6 mana. They could cast niv Mizzet. They're just gonna level up talent. So... Now I could certainly consider bouncing it. They can still replay it, but they won't be able to level up. Okay, so cast Atraxa, maybe after looting once again. Finding a third one. Alright, one of them can probably go now. Or I can ditch Jace. Does this resolve? It does not. So opponent drew a counter spell in the meantime, which is why they probably didn't replay the talent. That's okay. We've got a few more we can try. Although now our opponent's got a right of the dragon caller, which is quite scary. Okay, so start out with Great Door. Could also think about transforming it, to be honest. So that's four mana. So maybe I start with a Collector's Vault activation. Find another Sewers. Can play it, see what's on top. Unauthorized Exit would be able to bounce right of the Dragon Caller. So I'm kind of okay drawing into that right now with the Great Door instead of trying to transform it. Which would give me access to more mana. Although... Do we really need it? I mean, if I do transform it and cast Omniscience next turn, we're definitely in a great spot. So maybe it is actually better to just transform the Great Door here. But it's gonna make a Dragon end of turn. I'll activate this now so they can't blow up my artifact somehow. Alright, so our opponent's got a dragon and a fish. We're tapped out. But next turn we'll get to untap with a lot of mana, so we can maybe hard cast omniscience and take it from there. Opponent replace talent levels up. Take six. 
Okay, so yeah, step one, try and cast omniscience. Could have also bounced right first, just to see if they did have another counter spell left over. Right, omniscience resolves. Free Atraxa for starters. Finding a backup omniscience can help in case they have a bounce spell. And we also found a reenact. A land planeswalker battle, so we've got it all. So now that we cast another omniscience, we should be pretty much in the clear. Alright, so start milling my opponents. Play a Jace. Mill for 15. Can reenact one back, play another Jace, Invasion, bring back Jace. And yeah, they are playing Brotherhood's End, so if they had it earlier, that could have been a problem. I guess we do have to be a little bit careful that our opponent doesn't somehow burn us out in their upkeep. But that seems unlikely. So, Invasion of Tolvada. Gets back Jace. And that should be lights out here. No cards left in library. Opponent tries to fire off some burn spells. Yeah, I guess they have to loot while they can, because once their library is empty, I guess it is a May ability. Opponent does actually have another burn spell here, so that's a little bit of a concern now. But yeah, they would need eight points of burn in hands, which I don't really see them having. Can have a quick glance at their library, just in case. They are trying to storm off with Thousand Year Storm as well, so... Okay, um, yeah, good game. Don't think we need to do much else. And our opponent explodes. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a promising hand. With Collector's Vault discarding Atraxa and ramping out Invasion of Tolvada. And we'll need probably an extra land. Opponent on a life gain deck. So hopefully not a super aggressive start. And then with Atraxa we can probably find the pieces to put together Omniscience as well. Channeler is a scary start. For now we can play Archive and then activate Vault end of turn. And Johnny's Pride Mate is acceptable. If her opponent had a Deep Cavern Bat, for instance, that could have gotten pretty ugly if they take away the invasion. Now I don't expect Atraxa to necessarily survive, but it will find us a lot of extra cards to work with. Alright, let's give it a go. And then hoping for Omniscience, which we found in spades. Another Atraxa. Jace, Invasion, a land. And unauthorized exit, so a pretty full haul. And then discarding to hand size is actually quite useful here. Can discard Omniscience to next turn, bring back. And then a couple extra lands can go. Maybe Collector's Vault as well at this point. Alright, so everything's ready for Omniscience, which then plays another Atraxa. Can bounce an Atraxa as well. And that should find us more Jaces and Invasions to close out the game. Alright, Deep Cavern Bats can now take the Invasion, which will slow us down. Yep, so we'll probably have to bounce the Bat now. 
But yeah, if they have an answer for Atraxa, we could be dead in the meantime. Shelter by ghosts, yeah, that's not what we wanted to see. Although now I can just bounce the Essence Channeler, get Atraxa back, and take it from there. So that's gonna be the play. Could wait on this until the opponent's turn, perhaps, because I'll have to discard to hand size a bunch. Yeah, that's probably fine. I don't expect any instant speed protection spells from our opponents. And then maybe place around another sheltered by ghosts removing Atraxa. And channel only moves its counters when it dies, I believe, so no risk of the opponent getting more counters. And then there's still a chance we find another bound spell with the Atraxa trigger. Opponent goes for it. And another invasion would be fine. Atraxa triggers. And it find an into the flood maw, just in case. Okay. Can block the pride mates. Possible we can just win with Atraxa and don't even need Omniscience and Jace. But that's probably going to be the fastest way to end it. And another sheltered by ghosts, so can just bounce here. Save everyone some time. But yeah, that shows the importance of maybe waiting until attackers to bounce their creature, otherwise they would have been able to clear Atraxa once again. And there we have it, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. We've got discard outlets aplenty, bit of interaction and a Jace. So we're missing a few pieces, but we will get to see quite a few cards, so I'll give it a shot. Surveil Atraxa, and do we keep it in hand? I'm not sure if we're gonna get there with Invasion of Tolvara or with Reenact a Crime, in which case I would probably want Atraxa in hand, although it's no Omniscience either. So, yeah, given that we have Jace, if we draw Reenact a Crime, I can play Jace, planning to then mill myself to set up Reenact, since then we have a good shot at milling Omniscience. So I don't think we need to keep Atraxa in hand necessarily. Put in black green. So we can expect some discard spells, maybe some removal for artifacts and enchantments as well. For now just play the Great Door. Even though the upside of Collector's Vault is that it can maybe ramp us into an invasion of Tolvara on turn 4 to set up Atraxa. Put on more of a demon deck. Okay. So maybe Floodmaw can go since we have exits. And then this turn should always start by maybe activating Great Door, although we don't have a payoff in hand that I can discard to set up a reenact a crime. So I'm probably okay just playing a line and passing with the plan of probably bouncing something and activating Vault. Alternatively, could also play Jace just to draw a card and have that in play. And then would still have three loyalty left, so can mill for nine. Yeah, that's also reasonable here. And we're okay if they spend a removal spell on Jace since we'll have drawn a card from it. Mill Jace and Omniscience, alright, so now Invasion of Tolvada is pretty high up on our list of cards we want to find. Can also transform the Great Door now for what it's worth. And then we have some cheap bounce spells for some larger demons. Especially a demon token's easy to bounce. Opponent's gonna ramp with Overlord. Draws with up the Beanstalk. And 
and just a uh, line our elves. Okay. So we'll loot, find reenact a crime. All right. So now all we need is to mill something powerful with Jace, and then next turn we can go off. Another great door. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Even if we mill Invasion of Tolvada, that can also set up Omniscience. Although we don't have anything necessarily left in hand to then keep comboing. So if our opponent does have enchantment removal, that might get a little awkward. Alright, we did find Omniscience. But also Invasion of Tolvada, so I could go for Atraxa here instead. Which then has a decent shot at finding another Invasion of Tolvada for next turn. I think that's maybe the better play, since we need more resources. Maybe should have taken a look at um, what we draw with the Great Door first, because if we draw Traxa, then Omniscience would have been fine. But yeah, now we've got backups. A full grip. And can still play a land for turn, can make it an untapped one for into the Flood Maw. And uh, yeah, pass it back. Discarding another Great Door or two. And how about Undercity Sewers? So next turn I can just activate Great Door, discard Omniscience, reenact it back, and we're off to the races. Or we can just cast the invasion, getting back omniscience in the first place. Go for the throw, it was to be expected, that's fine. And another ritual chamber making a demon, which we can still bounce for one mana here. Yeah, it does kind of feel like we're playing chess while our opponent's playing checkers. Alright, so there's a few ways we can do it, but this is probably the easiest one. Invasion back omniscience. Extra omniscience for insurance. And then we'll see what Atraxa finds. Another Jason invasion, so that's basically two more Jaces. And that should be enough. Our opponent is playing a regular sized deck. If you are worried about opponents somehow packing 200 plus cards, you could still potentially incorporate one of the uh, Doomsday Demons in your deck, and then that plus one Jace can also get the job done, but it's maybe not quite as elegant to include it in the main deck. All right, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hands got potential, just missing either Invasion of Tolvara or Reenact a Crime. But we are up against probably our worst matchup, a red aggro, and they're on the play as well, so... Yeah, if we can somehow win this game, that would be amazing, but not counting on it. Turn to Slick Shot, so we could just be dead next turn already. There's Reenact. So we have everything in place to win on turn four. But will we get there is a question. Double Bolt Wave puts us to three. I pretty much need to draw into a Bounce Spell here, which can maybe keep me alive, unless they've got another Burn Spell. Burst Lightning, yeah, that's already game over since we can bounce both creatures. So yeah, maybe on the play this hand could have gotten there, but on the draw we're just a turn too slow. Let's see if we would have drawn a Bounce Spell. We did not, but Untapped Land was also useful. So yeah, the plan next turn would have been to activate Collector's Vault again, discard Omniscience, reenact it back, and then with double Atraxa we can pretty easily find everything we need. Good game. On to the next one. 
Okay, we're on the play, and we've got double reenact omniscience. So we're missing a better discard outlet, basically. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Get to surveil once with archive, once again with exit. Wouldn't need a third reenact. Put in black white. So hand disruption is our primary concern. And it's going to be a split skin doll, so opponent perhaps a uh, reanimator deck trying to bring back expensive creatures like Volgavoth, which I wouldn't be able to bounce with exit because of ward. So yeah, may as well bounce the doll now. Surveil, maybe pick up something useful. An extra land isn't the worst, but we really need to find a discard outlet here, whether it's the Great Door or Collector's Vaults, and there we go. So... Now I just need an untapped land in three draw steps, because we get to activate door twice, plus our regular draw step. Although, once we get there, we only have omniscience in play, we don't have an Atraxa to go with it. So, might still take us a few turns to eventually win the game. Opponent's got an Atraxa of their own. Alright, so Collector's Vault... I guess is better than a second reenact the crime for now, as another way of digging towards an Atraxa, for instance. I think I do like backup omniscience, just in case they have removal for the first one, which is not impossible. And another vault, so now I still need an untapped lanes. Alright, we got there. So I can reenact back omniscience. Play a second copy, just in case, and then I'll play one Vault for free, and then pass. And then between Great Door and Vault, we get to dig pretty deep towards an Atraxa. I guess upside of keeping the extra reenact was potentially if we draw Jace, we can mill ourselves and then reenact back an Atraxa to keep going. And the yeah, Valgavoth is potentially disruption here too, because if we discard something... It gets exiled, so that's going to make it a little trickier to combo off, although we can potentially pay the ward cost. So activate Great Door. Alright, found a Jace. So Vault activates. And then if I play Jace... I don't really want to just mill my opponent for 15. Milling myself is out of the question. Could just draw a card with it. Or I keep it in hand until we're just ready to mill the opponent out. But yeah, we're under a two-turn clock. So we don't have much time to draw out of it. But I think for now I wait. Yeah, Valgavoth exiling stuff from our graveyard does make it a little trickier to use our Invasion of Tolvara to get a Jace Bank, for instance, or use the Reenact a Crime trick. Alright, so we get one final turn here. Under City Sewers, I may as well play, since the Surveil digs us a card deeper. And there's Atraxa. So keep that one on top. Activates. Can do Great Door. And discard Vaults. Play Atraxa. And then now... We still have three Jaces left in the deck. And if we can play all three, we can mill the opponent out exactly. Alright, unauthorized exit, a way to bounce Atraxa, so that's relevant. Found one Jace. Gloom Lake Verge. And that's it, so... Now potential concern is if our opponent were to remove Atraxa in response to the unauthorized exits, then we don't get to pick it back up. So I guess I'll start with Collector's Vault, see what else we find. Now I could also just bounce Valgavoth and just sacrifice some treasure tokens to the ward. So that's an option. So I don't think I need to go for it now. I can just pass. If our opponent attacks, I block with Atraxa, see if they trade, and then I can still maybe exit Atraxa 
uh, before damage. And if they remove Atrax end of turn, I can just bounce Volgavoth and we'll get another turn as well. And I can maybe hang on to double Jace. My opponent did not remove anything end of turn. Of course, they know about the unauthorized exits. But yeah, if Atraxa trades for Volgavoth, it does buy us a lot of time, since we would gain 7, so that's probably an okay exchange for us. Opponent activates Vaults. Discards another Volgavoth. And now a Liliana. Fair enough, so that's a little bit unfortunate. A fight? And you think you can win. So that can take out Atraxa, and now I'm forced to bounce Volgavoth. As opposed to bouncing my own Atraxa, otherwise we just take lethal. And then may as well sack Atraxa alongside two treasures. Opponent won't be able to play Atraxa at instant speed with Valgavol's ability, and once it's bounced, it's too late. Don't need another Great Door. Alright, so the game continues. Not the outcome we were hoping for. But now we can at least loot without having to worry about Volgavoth. Find a reenact a crime. Alright, so that should wrap it up now. As we can play Jace. Mill for 15, play second one, and then reenact back Jace for the final. 15 cards. So yeah, Valgavoth kept the game interesting. Don't know if there's any interaction our opponent could have here for 2 mana. Can't think of much. Can have a look at the opponent's deck as well, in case you were curious about their deck list. They have a good Volgavos Faithful as well. Besiege the Mirror. Play Jace. 13 cards remaining. And make that zero. Alright, sweet. Pass a turn. And that'll do it. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We have interaction and a discard outlet, couple surveil lanes. Yeah, I'll try this. The surveil lanes make it a lot more appealing to keep as we get a few more looks at some of our big payoff cards and reanimation spells. And between Flood Maw and Exit, we should survive for a few more turns. Island can go. Opponent on red with a percussionist on one. Okay, we'll see how we can fare against the red deck when we have some actual interaction. Invasion's a good draw, so now we're just missing something to reanimate. I think I actually keep Archive since we need line 5, and at least Archive offers a bit of extra utility. So, turn 3, probably want to tap out for Great Door, so Needlehead, I'm happy to bounce. Needlehead also punishes Great Door activations, so it is pretty good against us. So if they replay it, we can activate in response. Find another Archive, probably don't need both. Could also consider casting the Exit in my upkeep here. Before taking a draw step and taking one more damage. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then milling an Atraxa would be perfect. Opponent's gonna burst lightning us for two damage. Another Exit. 
Well, I guess we can keep playing this game for a while. Sure. Take or draw. And then I guess we're just gonna keep up exit as opposed to playing the archive, but I could maybe draw with Great Door first. Find another invasion. Will I need two of them? Unlikely, at least not for the initial setup. And once we're going off, we can find other ways to keep going. So one can go. And then, sure, I'll keep up unauthorized exits. Does mean we won't necessarily be able to play Invasion on turn 5. So a Needlehead is back again. Must be getting nauseous from getting bounced over and over. Does feel like they have another burn spell in hand. So yeah, any damage we can save is probably worth it. Another Burst Lightning. And Flood Farm Verge does let me play Invasion, but yeah, we desperately need to find an Atraxa. And Jace isn't the worst, so it can activate a Great Door just to see what's next. Islands. Prefer Archive. And then I can play Jace just to mill draw card. Or I could mill myself for the max amount, and then I'm pretty likely to mill an Atraxa, which sets us up nicely. I guess I can play Archive first. Into the Flood Mock and go. And yeah, milling myself for 15 seems better than just milling for 3 and drawing. Because I imagine our opponent can finish off Jace next turn, and then I'm once again top decking, whereas if I mill 15, there's a good chance we milled something useful. Alright, and I did see an Atraxa. So yeah, a lot of hopes riding on Atraxa stabilizing us. Our opponent's finally gonna play their pump spell, puts us to 8. Draw. Not gonna play my land yet since we might draw untapped land plus into the Flood Maw of Atraxa. And yeah, Atraxa is definitely the pick over Omniscience when we're empty handed. Find backup Atraxa, Flood Maw, Jace, Tolvada, untapped lands, so pretty much all of the cards we wanted. So it can keep up into the Flood Maw. Another needle hat's fine. And a hardfire hero. So not gonna see any attacks. Can bounce a needle hat maybe. Atraxa can also transform the invasion of Tolvada now. And then we have to get this omniscience in play, which might require a little bit of setup, or we can Invasion of Tolvada back Omniscience, which, yeah, should be good enough here. But I kind of want to transform this first. So yeah, Invasion goes for Omniscience. And then we can play back up Atraxa. Finding Atraxa, reenact a crime now. Um, although unauthorized exit can also bounce Atraxa back. But yeah, reenact is a way to pick up Jace again. Alright, so our opponent's got 48 cards remaining. So yeah, milling with Jace is gonna require a bit more effort. How many Jaces do we have left? Because we did mill ourselves for 15 earlier. There's two Jaces in Graveyard. How many Invasions are gone? We have one in play, one Transformed, one in the Graveyard. And how many Reenact the Crimes? There's one in the Graveyard I can see. So there should be 
two left in the deck, so that's two more Jaces. So yeah, with all of that, we should be able to get there. But yeah, I can play Hatraxa just to make sure. This is where having maybe a one-off uh, demon could also help out. But yeah, we should get there now pretty easily. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna end up milling myself by accident. Because it's very much possible Atraxa can get there by herself. So Jace again. Now against the burn deck, always have to be careful that they don't cast a bunch of burn spells in their upkeep before drawing from an empty library and losing the game. But at 13 life we should be safe. So invasion back. Jace. And then one more Jace will do it. I'm gonna resist the temptation of drawing with Jace, even though we could draw three cards, but with a needle head that seems unnecessary. Alright, so that should do it. And pass a turn, can have a quick glance at the opponent's deck list in case you're interested. And our opponent explodes, awesome! So yeah, even against aggro, if we have the cheap bounce spells, we can potentially buy ourselves enough time to eventually still combo off. And then once we get Omniscience and Atraxa going, there's not many decks that can stop us, especially with Jace being a very nice alternate win condition. So yeah, quite happy with how this deck turned out. Now, the question is, is this deck going to perform in best of three as opposed to just best of one? Because in best of three you'll have to contend with graveyard hate after sideboard, as well as more hand disruption and counter spells, so that's going to make matchups a lot more difficult potentially. But on the other hand, we do also have bounce spells that can bounce artifacts and enchantments, so we can still potentially interact with graveyard hate even with our main deck setup, so that's quite nice. And in best of three you might face fewer aggressive decks as opposed to best of one, and those are at the end of the day still the weakness of a strategy like this. If we don't have our cheap bounce spells we might just get run over before we manage to set up. So definitely an interesting question, but yeah for now this deck seems to be working quite smoothly and there's not too many changes I would make to it. So yeah that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always have a nice day.